We've had this discussion on a few different occasions about concerts um, at the California Mid-State Fair. And when there was, uh, I believe it was Naomi, she wrote in, she wanted to win tickets to see Motley Crue. And she's like, I'm thinking about taking my four-year-old son. And people were like, whoa, what, whoa, no, uh-uh, you can't take your four-year-old son. But then the monster truck thing is coming to the Paso Robles Event Center this weekend, right? Yeah. My son is one and a half, all right? One and a half yesterday. He is, bam, right there, one and a half years of age. All right. Loves trucks. The only thing I know that he loves as much as his mom is trucks, all right? A truck goes down the street. Trucks and buses for whatever reason. Truck goes down the street. He stops everything he's doing. Oh, and he gets this look on his face like, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. And then he points at it and goes, oh, loves trucks. You want to take him to the monster trucks? I want to take him to the monster trucks so bad. Well, you got to get something for his hearing because they're loud. My wa- yeah, I know. That's, and, that's, get, like, and, that's, and that's my thing. And we've had this discussion before about taking kids to concerts. Right. And people, for the most part, are like, mm, you probably don't want to do that. You were going to take your daughter to Garth Brooks? My daughter went to Garth Brooks. Oh, she did with your My with, son with did your not. Wife. I did yeah. not either. Well, your son's too young. My wife took my daughter to I would to say your, Garth young, Brooks. your son is probably too young to, for this. But if you're saying he sees a truck dive down the street and he gets all excited, then maybe this would be right up his alley. So yesterday we threw this question up on the uh, social media. Is it how young is too young to take your kid to a monster truck show? And you say he's too young? Well, no, I say if, you're ki- if you think your kid's going to understand it, then he's old enough. If you don't think Understand he's gonna- it? It's trucks flying through the air. Yeah, is he going to care about it? I mean, yes. is, is he... Is he th- I don't know anything about kids because I don't have any. But I'm thinking, you know, if, if you're a little kid and you don't know the difference between, like, what's actually happening around you, then, then he's too young. But if you think he gets it, then he should go. Well, I don't know if he gets... I mean, does, what's there to get at a monster truck show? Well, no, that they're big trucks and he'll be excited. If you think he's going to... If he's going to enjoy... If you think he's going to enjoy it, then I say, yeah, take him. Have you been not, to monster trucks before? Not so sure about it. I, when I was a kid, I went and I was, I was overwhelmingly underwhelmed. I, I, I thought it was going to be the coolest thing. And, and, and I, it was at the kingdom. They had a truck that turned into a, like a, a six story transformer that breathed fire. And on the commercials, they showed all this dirt, like all this dirt that these monster trucks are going to be going through. And then when you go to a place like a kingdom, there's not enough dirt in the world to fill the ground right. of the kingdom. So they have to make kind of a circle. The good thing, well, they would have like patches of dirt on concrete, which was the weirdest oh. thing. And, and See, I saw it at the fair a couple of years ago when they had it on Sunday. And it's good at the fair. It was good. And yeah. I was sitting right there where uh, the grandstand seats are, like where the grandstand starts mm-hmm. in the back. And were I was sitting, sitting on, in the first row. Were you sitting on the edge? I was like, you yeah, were, I was okay. sitting. I good. was thinking about running up the stairs. It scared the hell out of me. I they come right to the edge there, and they're jumping. And you're thinking, God, if they hit something wrong and turned, that truck would be in the crowd. And so it was. That's I what Frank it, says. He I, says. I thought it was pretty. Like it was like you're really says, close. In order to take your kid, in order to take your kid, you have to make sure your kid has some situational awareness. We're not quite there yet with my son. My son is the opposite of situational awareness. I know awareness. you're a dad like, and you can't wait to share stuff with your kid, but he might be too young for Like, this. he sees a rose bush and he runs at and jumps into the rose bush. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing, dude? That's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like, there's... the what. It, is there, is, is, there, is there such thing as uh, situal unawareness? Because that's what my son has. Well, yeah, because he's Frank so says young. that if anything goes into the crowd, you have to be able to move quickly. Right. Does that happen at, at, Are you, at a monster truck Does he sit next show? to you at one and a half, or do you hold him on your lap at one and a half? It would be a mixture of that and um, kind of... like This is like one of those things where I could see us going to for 30 minutes and then having to leave because... He'll get antsy and he'll want to do my, something. Here's else. my thought process on him. He's one and a half, all right? You're going to have many opportunities to Am do something I, though, like this. Because monster trucks have not been in the region for a long time. If the fair stop. No, they come to Santa Maria every year. They're in Santa Maria. They just haven't where, been at the event center where, in a while. Where are they in Santa Maria? At the fair park. They do them down there. At the fair park? Yeah, every year I want to say they do At the do fair them. park or the rodeo grounds? Uh, I believe it's the fair park. I believe it's the fair park. Maybe oh. it is the rodeo grounds. I'm not sure. No, no, it's the fair park. Yeah, they, they, they bring them in the and they build park? a course and they do the whole thing. Mm. 
And that plus, seems chintzy to me. You could drive anywhere to see monster trucks at any time. I mean, they've got them all the time. So Yeah, it says that there is no too young for monster trucks. That you could take them at any age. Um, well, yeah, you can. It, you just have to deal with it. It's more about what you want to deal with. I, I don't think anything's going to hurt him as long as you protect his ears. Kellen says this is the stupidest question that he's ever heard. Um, he took his daughter at six months old and would have taken her sooner, but there are only so many monster truck shows. And he posts, posts a picture of hashtag monster truck guy justice holding up. He's holding up his baby. Who, who's with, justice? His baby. His baby. He's holding up his baby justice with one oh, hand. I got with you. one hand. Yeah, he's, that's, he's like, that's monster truck right there. <laughs> I went and saw that monster truck that came up to Malahi Dodge. I don't know. I actually have a video of it somewhere, maybe on a Facebook page. I remember that. I was like, that was fun. He got to smash some cars and stuff. Mm -hmm. But like a real monster truck show, man, those things are flying through the air. They're doing, they're rolling, they're flipping over. Everybody says ear protection. Now, when I went, when I was a kid, I sat at the kingdom. I remember it being loud, but I also was sitting at the the top of the kingdom to watch it because my grandpa was cheap and he bought $10 seats. And how old were you? I was, I want to say fifth or sixth grade. Yeah, so you weren't one and a half. You know, he's yeah. not going to remember this. You don't remember something like this. But he'll be, he'll be into it for the now, though. It's not about memories. It's about, I don't, like, the last thing I want my son to do is to have a public job where he talks about me raising him at some point in time. And next thing you know, he's saying what a shoddy job I did because he's hitting, uh, uh, because apples. you didn't take him to monster trucks at one and a half? Apples in an alley with a, side of, with a piece of uh, siding off of a house. Oh, now you're making me feel bad. I don't try to pick on the old man, but, you know, it's true. I, was, I <laughs> wish we could redo that. I wish that could have been redone. Wouldn't you rather I be mean, a monster truck I mean, he did a lot of great show? things, too. You, you know, might not have remembered it. A lot I mean, of great I don't things. fully remember every uh, detail My about- dad took me to, the, uh, S- to SIR, which is the Seattle International Raceway for the NHRA um, you know, whatever it was, uh, you know, drag racing when I was five years old. He took me again when I was, si- he took me for three years, four years, six, seven, eight, nine. And so, and then I went again when I was a teenager. And so that was, I, that, those are memories I'll never forget. I was scared to death, uh, but I had a lot of fun. <laughs> and now look at me. I'm a, I'm, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm yeah, a fan. You're, you're so who knows? Maybe you take your son to this and he becomes a monster truck fan for life. But I think as long as you protect your ears, you'll be fine. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be monster trucker drivers. <laughs> Good morning. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOZ.